Hello guys, welcome back to Miss Coasters. My name is Anderson. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at Six Flags Great America and all the new things they are offering for the 2022 season. Let's get to it. So I know in previous videos I have talked about, you know, the new DC area and our larger type of things, but now I'm going to be going into the, the little things that Six Flags Great America is adding this season. I'm going to start off with an update on like payment so six flags is sticking with cashless payment they did put those like machines around the park where you can exchange cash for cards but they're going to stick with that it makes sense it is easier on the park to do that and so that's just you know for people who have a lot of cash you just have to live with you know putting it on a card to use um additionally there is a new um center for kids outside the park so it's called the ride information center um if you go to the family rides category I believe um, that is where you'll find this little um, like I guess it's called it calls it a ride it's not a ride um, and this little ride information center kids can go um, and as it says um, you can get a wristband um, for so you can get a wristband you know to tell what height you are this actually makes it a lot easier on ride operators so they don't have to measure kids you know they're already guaranteed to be this height um, you know, it is, I believe, optional at this point, but at some point it would make sense if they make it required. Um, anyway, that's it for that. Uh, we're going to move on to food. Okay, so I think this actually debuted last year, but there is a new um, hot dog restaurant called the Great American Dog House. Um, I do not know if that's new this season or last season. I didn't, um, I don't remember seeing it last year, so I'm just going to assume that is new this year. Um, I also believe there's a new Totally Kickin' Chicken near American Eagle. Again, could be wrong on those. Feel free to correct me down below. Um, now we're going to move on to possible shops that are actually new to the park. So there is, first off, a new um, shop called Cape of Palooza in County Fair, where you can get capes and candies, as it says in like the book description. Uh, I feel like that's like a good new you know it's good to have more options to buy things um and i think that's the only new shop this season so we're going to move on to other small changes this year so i did notice when you purchase tickets you actually cannot purchase a season drink bottle i don't know if that's just temporary or if that's wrong um, but when you're current when i currently look at both the passes and what you can actually purchase as additional bonuses um, you actually can't currently buy a season drink bottle. I think that's probably wrong. They usually offer a season drink bottle, but right now it's not offered as an additional season pass item. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's temporary. Besides that, um, I'm actually having trouble finding too many changes. Um, I do think it's good they added the kids center um, and they got rid of cashless pay. Um, also, if they did really add uh, new shops and new uh, food places, that is definitely a good change for the better. Um, and besides that, I mean, I don't hate the new passes they're um, making you pay for. Um, I don't necessarily hate, you know, that you have to buy these new Thrill Seeker passes, Extreme passes, etc. Um, it, I think it's actually better. Um, and they are now offering, you get junior passes with um, a, you know, when you buy a Extreme pass or Season pass or whatever. So it allows you to bring kids, uh, which is certainly important to families. So I think, I think there's actually a lot of good things. Um, about this new um, pass system they've put in place. And I don't think all of these changes that they're bringing are bad. I think most of them are good, and I think they should continue improving the park um, as they have been um, over the last few months. Um, so I'm excited to visit Six Flags Great America. I'm sure I'll do more updates before the park opens. But for now, these are all the changes I can find um, before the 2022 season at Six Flags Great America. Goodbye. <laughs>